Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, Hurricane Dorian is back in the news again as it finally goes from a Category 5 to a Category 3. But oh man, did it hit the Bahamas. Hurricanes generally move slow enough, around 22 kilometers an hour, 20-22 kilometers an hour. So they're not a fast moving storm and they're huge. They're large spiraling storms. Uh, in fact, the eye is the safest place to be in a hurricane. But here's what happened when it hit the Bahamas. It kind of just stayed there. It barely moved for 36 hours over the Bahamas and it just kept swirling and just pounding and pounding and pounding all the buildings, the trees, the beaches and everything that was there. It just didn't seem to want to move away from that area. It just stalled. And so for 36 hours they were constantly bombarded with 140 to 160 mile an hour winds. The results are, as many officials are staying there, a good 60% of the buildings are in you know damaged in some way or another um, many of the infrastructure is gone trees have been uprooted the sand has been washed from many of the beaches it just looks like a really devastating devastating effect and a lot of people did not expect this some cruises that were heading out on a 14-day cruise figured that it would just head by and they'd be able to continue on their 14 day and no, halfway through they had to change itineraries and all over the place. And speaking of itinerary changes, it went from three Royal Caribbean ships and, you know, and the others just kind of watching it, just, just keeping an eye on it, to so many itinerary changes and port stops. The Coast Guard closed a lot of the Miami, a lot of the Florida ports, not allowing anybody to go there, which means the cruise ships had to drop you off somewhere. So they headed down to New Orleans, and some of them headed off to Baltimore, and some of them never left Baltimore. It just became a complete cluster, if you know what I mean. It, people were stranded in cities they had no idea, have never been to, didn't know where they were going, and it just it compounds things, right? A lot of the times the cruise lines have been helping out and trying to get people rebooked on your flights to get them out. Um, you know, it, you never anticipate this sort of thing, but when you're talking, you know, so many ships here. <laughs> Let me give you a quick list just on Carnival alone. How many itinerary changes happened in the last three days? We have the Elation, the Horizon, the Victory, the Liberty, the Ecstasy, the sens Sensation, the Miracle, and the Sunshine. Then we jump over to Royal Caribbean. We have the Allure, the Empress, the Navigator, the Mar Mariner, the Majesty, the Harmony, and the Symphony of the Seas. Norwegian Cruise Line, the Gem, the Sky, the Sun, the Breakaway, and even the Disney Dream, and many, many other ships and cruise lines out there all have been affected. Over 31 different itineraries changed within the last three days. That's how much this storm has slowed. And in, when it, you know, if a storm comes to a complete stall in the middle of the ocean, it's hard to tell, okay, now what do we do? We're supposed to go there in three days. Where will that storm be in three days? Because it's not moving, it's just staying there. So the predictions are, you know, we all know it's gonna head up the East Coast, uh, but uh, how strong will it continue to be? Will it grow again? Will it turn more inward? We have to watch it and keep an eye on it. And any of those Canadian cruises going on uh, or cruises he heading into New York, Baltimore, Boston, all those are up next as that storm heads in that direction. It's not, like I said, as bad as it was. It's not a Category 5, but there's still 100, not, 100 mile an hour winds out there. And that's something that the cruise ships will avoid definitely. So if you're going on a cruise, check your cruise line. There's a notice right at the top on almost every website out there. 
Hurricane Dorian updates and you can click on it and you will find if your itinerary has changed, they're sending out emails. That's why it's important to, as soon as you can, fill in your passenger information and sign in and things like that so that they have your email address or a phone number where they can reach you if they need to tell you there's a change. You know, uh, because Hurricane Dorian's coming towards us, we need to send, ship out at noon instead of shipping out at six. So we need you to be on the ship before then. If you haven't filled out your information, you're just gonna do it when you get to the ship, then you won't know that's what's happening and you'll probably miss your ship. So uh, always do that information as soon as you can. In the meantime, uh, there have been some fatalities in the Bahamas uh, and if you look at those pictures you can understand why widespread flooding huge winds uh, in a tropical island they're not built with steel girders everywhere and reinforced concrete a lot of those houses are stucco and wood and just put together you hit them with that kind of wind they're not gonna last very long and then you're on an island a lot of its low-lying and the flood just hits and just just spreads everywhere so uh, our thoughts are with everybody in the Bahamas, all of those on the cruise ships. Hope you get home safe. And uh, yeah, it's just, like I said, this storm jumped from what it was supposed to be to a much stronger, much more severe hurricane. And luckily now it's finally starting to decrease. Oh, and before I get to the comment section, Yes, I'm not wearing my shirts that I bought that everyone says they liked and they, they're really happy I got a new shirt other than the white shirt. And I didn't put the other white shirt on because I know that's a comment. How come he's going back to the white shirt? <laughs> the reason I'm in this is because it's around one o'clock today on Wednesday and I'm flying out tomorrow morning at nine, which means I have to be at the airport at seven which means I only have a few hours left and I want to bring those shirts with me. So they're in the wash. They're getting freshly cleaned and freshly linened. So I have all the clothes that I want to wear in my suitcases when I head off. And yeah, suitcase really excited too. Wait till you see what he has in store. Well, I hope you like this update. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.